If you want to skip some data from a data set when you're doing your subscripting, you could use the exclamation mark or the minus. Uh, so if you write Theop and then uh, within brackets, you start by writing minus and then C one colon 11, you tell R that you want all the rows except from row one to 11. And then you want all the columns. You could have written this uh, in uh, some other ways, like in the second example where you write the op, and then uh, you say that you want all the rows except the rows where the subject is equal to one. And then you use the exclamation mark to say except the op subject equal equal one. Or you could have done as in the third example, the op, the op, uh, dollar subject uh, and then the exclamation mark and then uh, equal one and that would be just the same so this is an example that a lot of things can be done in different ways in R and you can replace values in vectors in different ways in this case you have a vector uh, with the numbers uh, one three two four five six seven eight four and if you want to replace the values, you could do this by subscripting. You could say that, say that in VEC, you would like value number four to, to be equal to 12. And then R would replace the fourth number by 12. And you, or you could uh, replace these values by conditioning. And then you write like VEC, and then uh, you say that VEC where VEC is bigger than six will be equal to N and then R will put N in all the, where all the values have been more than six. If you have a data set where you would like to delete a column, you should set the whole column to null. So if you would like to remove the weight column from the TF data set, you say TF dollar WT is equal to, to null. And then if you look at the, the column names of up by using, using names, you see that there is no column named WT anymore. You should avoid deleting columns uh, unless they are totally wrong, uh, because sometimes you find out that, oh, I would have needed that column. So you should try to use subscripting instead. If you want to add a new column in the data frame, you give it a name with the first with the data set and then you put dollar sign and then you put the name you want of that column so you put the data set where you want to put this column in the dollar sign and then the name so if you would like to add a column into the t of data set with the log concentration you could write like this theop dollar log cons which is a new column that has not existed before it's equal to the log of the column theop dollar cons and now you will get a new column with the log transformed concentrations another example is uh, where you write theop dollar and then fact dose which is the name of the new column and in this column you put the theop dose as factor so you write uh, as factor theop dose and then you have created a new column with the dose as factor and this is usually recommended if you want to put something into a factor. Uh, try to keep the first column where it's not a factor and then you create a factor column. Because if you need to do some kind of uh, other stuff uh, like calculations and so on, maybe it's not nice to have it as a factor. So it's often better to have two columns, one with the numbers and one with the factor 